Hey guys, we're up to the third bad poncho outdoors. I received a uh, YouTube comment uh, from a fan about mounting your uh, your Humbird side imaging and down imaging uh, transducer onto your trolling motor. Um, while it certainly can be mounted there, I, it's not something that I would advise. Uh, essentially, with your down imaging, you're getting a, a kind of a rather a, a cone um, coming down. And it's taking that image uh, in kind of a, a 2D way. Uh, so what you're going to be doing, if you're on your trolling motor at all and you turn your trolling motor, it will be distorting the image or uh, or causing almost like a blur effect um, to the image itself. Um, so, I mean, it certainly will read. It's just a matter of it won't be as accurate as it would be with, you know, we're mounted on your transom. Uh, the same goes with side imaging. Side imaging is taking images of kind of the sides of the unit itself, or of the, the, uh, the transducer. So when you turn, you know, you might be reading exactly, you know, perpendicular to the boat. So say you turn your trolling motor, well, now you're going to be reading kind of at an angle um, on and off the boat. It might be a good option if, if you don't want to go the 360 route and you have the time dedicated to learn how to do that kind of system. Um, back in the days of the Humberbird Wide Eye, that was a system that we used um, on our boat. Um, my father had fished Red Man tournaments, and and that was like I said, that's the way he did his unit, um, so that he could kind of get a, a 360 idea of what's going on in the water around him. Uh, and I, like I said, I was asked about, uh, about how to read this as well. Um, you'll see kind of on the, the bottom left here on the side imaging there's a floating piece of structure um, and you've got the crappie underneath that uh, and, and this image is from Doug Varenberg uh, so you know it's not exactly my image but Doug Varenberg was nice enough to let me uh, use this image he is the foremost guy when it comes to Humber Electronics so if you could please check him out he is like I said he is the man with Humber Electronics um, so down here you've got the uh, the fish itself. A fish on side imaging and down imaging usually show up as kind of white splotches, uh, and and you really need to use your electronics to piece together a puzzle. Um, so you've got your standard sonar, which I mean is what you're more likely to be using um, to vertical fish and, and stuff like that. Um, and on there, fish show up. You, show up as arches if they're doing it correctly or if you you know have your computer set up correctly uh, and you've got you know and when you start looking at your electronics you're, you're hopefully going to be matching up those arches with uh, with some of the white splotches once you figure out kind of okay yeah that's a fish it makes a little more sense uh, it makes it a lot easier on you um, and there are a few color palettes though the main ones you'll see on guys' boat will be brown and blue. Um, for some reason, these two color palettes seem to give the best contrast in fish, structure, cover, uh, and all the other good stuff. Um, you can kind of see, you know, the middle line where your boat's going on the side imaging. That's kind of top of the water column. Um, and then from there, you've got the uh, the water column itself um, until you hit the, the shoreline, or not the shoreline, the, uh, the lake bottom. Um, and from there, you've got kind of spots where you see a little bit of logs. Um, and depending on the length of the shadow itself, it really shows how high off the bottom that piece of cover is. Um, so if there's a you know really small shadow, then more than likely it's just a you know thing that's barely sticking up off the bottom. Um, and vice versa, if it's you know something with long shadow, more than likely it's something sticking off pretty high off the bottom. I mean, side imaging really is something you need to sit down with and play with. Uh, it's not something that you can really explain um, over over computer. Um, once you sit down on a boat that has it and you mark fish on it the first time, it's going to be you know it's going to click instantly. Uh, it's just one of those things that that you need to experience to understand. Um, 
you know, wish I could be more help, but uh, but that's really, I mean, the way that that I learned was I was on the water with Jake Davis. Uh, we were out there, played beside imaging a little bit, marked a bunch of fish, and then, oh, well, you know, now it makes sense. Um, when the chance of me picking up uh, a new side imaging unit and maybe a 360 unit, it's getting up there. Um, Robert Joe Third, Bad Poncho Outdoors. Um, thanks for watching, guys.